London's footballers were looking to bridge a gap that stretched back 33 years to 1977. The first and only football championship win, that against Leitrim, as they faced a Ross Common side who were relegated to Division 4 this season after only one league win. Fergal O'Donnell's side arrived at the ground late after some traffic problems, hoping that they could make it seven wins in a row against the Londoners and avoid the embarrassment of going out to the Minnows. And London almost hit the front on eight minutes as Derek Hayton's shot was brilliantly saved by Godfrey Claffey in the Roscommon goal. It took 15 minutes for Donald Shine to register his first goal for Roscommon. His second point put his side two points up. London though level through Paul Geraghty and a Derek Hayden point level up the score at two points apiece. But Roscommon scored six without reply before half time and Shine's free kick made it six for him and it meant an eight points to two half time lead for Roscommon. They then stretched that six point advantage to ten with two more Shine frees and points from Jerry Heenahan and Cahal Deneen made it 12 2 to the Westerners. London missed a great goal-scoring opportunity when Hayden's 58th-minute penalty struck the butt of a post, with Claffey beaten in the Roscommon goal. <laughs> London did, however, get some late consolation points from the likes of Owen O'Neill, Niall Egan and Shawnee McVie, but they proved to be mere consolation. Shine, a member of the 2006 Roscommon All-Ireland minor winning side, put over the final score, his ninth of the contest, to ensure victory for his side. And they now play Leitrim in the Connacht football semi-final on the 20th of June. It finished Roscommon 14 points, London 6 in Ryslip. Well, the scoreline probably flatters it a little bit, won uh, 14 points to 6. Um, second half performance, very poor London, where we fired the dominant team. You know, we were cleaned out of midfield in the second half and all around that sector. Now they brought a man drop back, but um, listen, I was very happy at half time. Thought we worked hard, but the second half was very disappointing. You, of course, now have played for both sides as well. Um, do you think maybe London's play is a little bit naive to be beating the teams like Ross Common? Yeah, probably that, especially in the first half, giving away a silly, silly freeze. Sometimes when, when, when um, you know, players in corners, when we should have probably stood off a bit more, just probably a bit green and, as you say, a bit naive. And we gave away the freeze, and with, with a free taker like Danny Shine, you don't, you can't afford to do that. No, you certainly can't. Uh, we shouldn't let the weekend pass, by the way, without crediting the London hurlers who had maybe the result of the weekend when they beat uh, Derry yesterday. A great result for them. But reflections on this one now. Russ Common in a in a Connacht semi final now well, against Leitrim. To, against Leitrim on the twentieth, and it's a big difference to the Ulster Championship. You you play. You play London and Leitrim and you're into the provincial final, you know, it's a big difference to up north, right, you know, but look for Roscommon, it's progress for them, it's another game for them going, going forward, Donny Shine got, uh, what is it, nine points today, so look, yeah. it's all progress for them, at least they're winning games and they can introduce some of the younger players. No slight intended on Leitrim there when you said you've only to play <laughs> London or Leitrim. Now, speaking of the Connacht Championship, Tony, next yeah. week, some great games, we have Sligo Mayo, who's going to win that one? Who's going to win? It's not as simple as that, I suppose. If, I, I would say that Mayo will win it because Mayo are a Division One side and had some very good victories this year. They, they beat Kerry, Derry, Throne mm. in the league. If Mayo had beaten Cork in the in the league final, I think they would have been more vulnerable. Right. But Sligo are a really good team. They were one of the most exciting teams around. I love watching Sligo playing football. And in, in Brainy and Cohen and O'Hara and those lads, lads in the forward, they have forwards that can take their scores. So I'm looking forward to a really good entertaining game in Markovich Park. But I think Mayo okay. will have more, more, than, more than to beat them. All right. And the other game next Saturday evening is in Leinster, Kildare and Louth. Yeah, Louth have had the benefit, obviously, of a competitive outing. The championship won over Longford, so yeah. I understand them in, in good stead. Kildare coming off the back of an ordinary enough league campaign, they seem to have put their whole stake on this year's yeah. championship. Quarter finalists the last two seasons, they'll be looking. The Leinster title for me has to, has to be their goal. The question is, are they made of the right stuff to win a Leinster title? And that's what we'll find out starting next Saturday. Wicklow Westmeath play on Sunday. Wicklow Westmeath, we talk about bad league campaigns. <laughs> Could not be any worse than Westmeath? Um, you have Pat Flanagan in there now, and mm. uh, Pat's a good man, good coach. Uh, Dennis Glennon and um, Desi Dolan yeah. back yeah. in the fray, mm. uh, but I think you still have to fancy Wicklow there. I don't think Pat has had enough time to, 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 to get them okay. going right, so I fancy Wicklow. All right, Tony, Waterford and Limerick in Munster. Well, I suppose uh, Johnny Owens has done well with Waterford. Uh, they were unbeaten in the league. They beat actually Limerick in the league, but I think uh, Limerick are mm. just too good for them. It's on down the far field. That's an advantage for, for Waterford, but it's the first time Limerick will have their full team back. They mm. like to Johnny Galvin was playing basketball, mm. and then he came back. Like, so it's the first time they have a full team, so I think uh, Limerick should win that.
Okay, and Monaghan Armagh, juicy one in Ulster. It is, Anthony. yeah. Um, Armagh, again, competitive game under their belt, but if there's any team in Ulster deserves to win an Ulster title, it's Monaghan. The effort those lads have given over the last mm. six or seven seasons has been phenomenal. Um, you wonder, is this going to be their year? That, you know, Armagh or Toronto are not as good as they were. Um, I think I'll, go I'll go for Monaghan, but uh -huh. not with any great conviction. And Kerry Cork, Tony? Uh, the one we're all looking forward to down south. Uh, look, Cork and Kerry always want to beat each other. Don't let's say that somebody doesn't want to win the game. Yeah. Um, Cork haven't done so well in Killarney over the last 10 years, but they have good run in the league. Kerry did very well against Tipperary, came in good.